Hi everyone, welcome back to Amazing Women's World. In this video, I have come up with notching collars and lapels, which is used for preparing of jackets and coats. Let's get started. I'll be taking two colors of cotton fabric to show you the variation of inside and outside the coat or the jacket. This pattern is so simple and easy that after watching this you can create your own designer jacket. So for this you need to take your body measurements till the hip length. I would be using this body sloper which I have shown in my earlier video. I am placing this and marking the measurements. Take a note that you should take the quarter part of body measurements and mark on the folds. The markings which you made on the pretty side has to mark on the lining also. That means inside the coat. For the jackets and the coats, we use normally the same fabrics which is looking outside. Now this blue fabric, I'll be marking till the waistline. But for the coats, you have to mark till your hip line. I'll mark front and back separately. I am using the two separate pieces for the front panel as for the dresses and the garments we used to mark on the folds but here I am marking on the open side. This is for the front open jacket and if you are marking to have the buttons in the front you should leave one inch towards the front side and then start marking. Mark the sides, armhole, shoulder line, leaving the neckline. Also give the seaming elements and cut on the marked dotted lines. Now this is the front panel of two separate layers. The same I will be cutting with this red fabric. In the back, I folded the fabric, laid this body slope of the back and trimmed accordingly. Lapels are the folded flaps of cloth on the front of a jacket or a coat. That means this is just below the collar which is over the front edges of the jacket or the coat. There are three basic forms of lapels that is notched, peaked and shawl. In this video, I'll be showing this notch lapels and the collar making. And in future videos, you can watch the shawl and the peaked jackets. Now, let me show you how to mark the neckline. Take the pretty fabric and the interfacing and start marking. The neck width of 3 inches and the neck deep and marking 5 inches. The more the neck deep, the greater the lapel size. And also vice versa, the small, the neck deep, the less the lapel. I mark the U shape on these marked lines. And give the seaming elements of 1 inch and cut on the dotted lines. And with this jacket, if you go with the 3 fourth sleeves, it will give the fabulous look. And for the back side, I would be marking 1 inch neck tip with the neck width of 3 inches. With the seaming elements of 1 inch, cut it. Now I lay all the pretty fabrics that means blue together and join the shoulders aligning both front and back panels. Lay it right on right. Start sewing towards the wrong side leaving quarter inch for the seaming elements. Follow the same instructions for the interfacing. Both the layers you have to join separately. Now I'll sew joining the shoulder lines towards the wrong side. This was the most requested video 
I got nearly 8 to 9 request of this to make and show. This pattern is so simple and easy. After watching this, you can create your own jacket. Join the shoulders of the interfacing. And both the layers will look like this. I pressed on this seaming to flatten the extra fabric near the joining of the shoulders. And for this notching collars, the collar size will be less compared to the lapels. That means the collar will start leaving some space on the lapels in the center front of the jacket. Now I laid this petty part like this and from this center slit I leave near 1 inch or 1 and half inch. It depends upon you how much you want to have the lapel. So for this I would be leaving 1 and half inches on both the sides from the center. And start measure from that point towards the back side of the neckline until again it reaches to the other side of the mark of the center front. Run the tape friendly and measure the length of the collar. So it's around 15 and half inches. And making this notching collar is the very simple thing. So for the collar also you need to take two pieces which is interfacing and the pretty part. Start marking on the folded side. Half of that length is 7 3 4 inch and the width I would be taking here is 2 and half inches. And towards this open ends you can design like triangle curved anything but here I'm showing the straight notching collar cut the two pieces of the same length with two different colors nowadays this type of collar is very much trending which is followed to design it on the kurtis and salva kameez chudidars to just show you the designer cutting I trimmed like this but now I'll cut the straight piece now I'll show you the over stitching leave one centimeter seaming element and sew it till the end that means you have to give the complete stitch on that line and also the same for the other two sides also start from the beginning till it reaches the end so on this is called over stitch whereas in in my previous videos of making collars I just sew and leave a little and before that I'll turn off to the other side so for preparing the notching collars we'll do this over stitch Fold the left seaming allowances like this, hold it firmly, the corner and turn to the pretty side. Now you can see the nice finishing of the collar which is edging with this shape. Also do the same for the another side, fold it the seaming allowances one on another hold firmly turn to another side you can see the very sharp edges towards the corners of this collar now press it gently on this collar now I'll show you how to join this lay the pretty part of the jacket And now lay the collar piece blue on blue start from the marking point and place the red which is the interfacing 
red collar towards red all pretty sides together right on right place it like this and start sewing leaving quarter inch for the same elements here also we'll do the over stitch start from the center front neck the collar should be sandwiched in between the two pretty fabrics ensure that the underneath fabric is well settled when you are sewing without any folds in this way we will conceal all the edges of the collar part so for preparing this jacket we are using the straight piece for the collar making And to this collar and the lapel endings, you can give the curve shape or triangle or extend the collar patterns. And also you can give the pipings towards this joinings. The notch or lapel is sewn to the collar at an angle, creating a step effect. The size of the notch can vary and the small notch is called as fish mouth. This was the first type of the lapel to appear. The design which you are going to give the edging of the collar, the same has to give towards the lapel to give the professional look. Now join the front side, in the over stitch start from the top of the neckline. Now the same how we did for the collar, fold it one on another, turn towards the pretty side. You can see how pretty the lapel is looking. See the concealing of the collar part and towards the front side. I'll give the top stitch. All around and join the sides but before that I'll give the notches ensure not to cut beyond the third line now turn towards the pretty side and give the gentle press and then give the top stitch See the finishings of the shoulder towards center facing and the collar part. I am overlocked towards the sides. 
the sides concealing i have shown in my earlier videos for making the frocks the same you can follow here see how beautifully and professionally the jacket has done the lapels with the notching collar you can pair it this jacket with any type of garment whether indian or western and the professional way of concealing this collar after watching this video i'm sure you'll make your own jacket and don't forget to share your experience with me do leave your comments below the description box and i'm pleased to inform you all that i'm stepping ahead to reach 40000 subscribers and i'm so happy the way you are receiving me and the content in my videos i would like to thank each and every one of you for my successful journey in short span of time with nearly 80 lakh views i'm blessed to meet you all thanks for your wonderful support and encouragement expecting the same in future too and i'm also receiving your request I would address at least one request at the earliest. Subscribe to watch more videos of latest fashions and trends. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.